what they built the bank, and um, it's in no particular order. So don't feel don't feel um, offended if you're not top of the list, and do feel offended if you're the bottom of the list. <laughs> <laughs> I've just run through it very quickly because it's, um, you all know the people involved. Without the man himself, Lawrence Young, we wouldn't be here. That's yeah. absolutely, oh. absolutely yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah. Bravo. As you say, I don't want to say too many things about him. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much of a good thing, it might, just might go to his head, you know? <laughs> um, and of course, what can one say about the course? It's outstanding. Send that bloody drain over in the bloody sink. You mean it again, you know? What do you mean again? Again, again. Thanks to David and the men. Well, David, I'm glad. I mean, one of our sins, obviously, one of them is my father. His assistant's my my grandson, so on behalf of the poor. And I mean, that's a course that's been seriously well established for many, many, many years. And the green is just not in the same league as ours. Nope. I mean, not, not in the same league. It's what I, first thing I said to David today, it's just, uh, it's just a credit to him for the actual work that he's actually managed to put in to make the course like it's been for the day for us all to enjoy. Fortunately, it didn't make it good enough for me, David, so I'll have to talk to you later. Fortunately, a friend of mine, a good, good colleague, Mr. Lobb, actually pulled down the list, so this is this meeting from the list. We're also very, very, very lucky in our club to have a, a secretary. <laughs> That, um, <laughs> I, 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 was, I was just trying to put the right word here to describe Terry, actually. <laughs> Maybe the best way is to leave it all to your imagination. <laughs> and, and without Terry and Carol today, I mean, the organisation, if you left to me, you would be still, but well, you wouldn't, wouldn't be here today. Anyway. <laughs> it's just wonderful what he's actually achieved, uh, the way I shall run, like clockwork. And again, I have to refer back to last night, where Dave and I will be playing at Newton Moore, if you see, and the man who was organising the event was first out. And the rest of us were standing there saying, OK, what do we do now, you know? So, I mean, these are clubs that have been well established, and we have a new club. And, you know, the feedback we've had from the members, or the other, or comments, blocks, it's all working well. And you know, Terry and Carol have been absolutely wonderful. So, I mean, just yeah. thank Terry and Carol. I mean this. We are a club that does have a strong woman and men in it. And it's actually working very, very well. And I noticed last night, again, go back to last night, I didn't see any. So there was actually no one last night representing Newton Moore or King Yusey. And they said they've been established for 100 next number of years. So, I mean, we're a new club, and yet we're doing things that they've actually never actually even, even thought of doing. Or, for whatever big the reason, they wouldn't do it. So, we obviously lead in the field. And um, I'll just be down from here. Um, we're also very, very fortunate that so this year, again, well, next year there'll be even more sponsors, and we'll be able to give bigger prizes. And well, next year, we we'll hope to have even a bigger field turn out and we we'll extend the time scales. It may be a bit tight. I know this year it worked very, very well. I don't think any was really held up. Um, well, I was, but my own ball was looking for so. <laughs> now, anybody else have actually missed out with the organisation, um, they'll just have to accept I'm including you, you too. But of course, no open can operate or function without you lot, the players. <coughs> From home and away, but if you hadn't turned up, we wouldn't have had it open. So thank you very much for those who have travelled from Farnafield, like Ballyolish and Orrick and Clavoyum and some from Edinburgh. But, but really, it's um, this is open and I think next year you're actually going to find next year we will definitely be forced to put a closing date on the number on the the entries because I have got no doubts whatsoever this is going to be a, a real on people's calendar. And like, once again, it's, it's thanks to all of you people that's made this a success. And of course, we have here Good Lenny and Fiona working well. <laughs> I, did, I did take it from the service of, um, of 
I actually asked for a bacon roll to be delivered to me. I thought that I might, you know, help my string. Didn't, but you know, the very fact that it was delivered is absolutely wonderful. And then if you want to think, I saw some people getting drink delivered. I didn't buy that, but... Um, <laughs> on a count back of 13 nines and 7 yeah. is Anne Munro. Well done. <laughs> and because we feel that uh, it's very disappointing to um, lose on uh, a count back, there is uh, a thank you for turning up and a special prize to Gail. Um, who came fourth officially? So, Gail and uh, Gail Anderson. Fort William. Fort William. Fort William. Gail Anderson. Fort William. No, right. Okay. No lady managed to get nearest the pin, unfortunately. <laughs> so, uh, Very few of the men, many. So, the longest drive uh, for the ladies is. Marilyn McDonald. So that's it. 
except for the raffle. Oh, oh, right. oh. Well, who's gonna, who's gonna...